Welcome back, Tactical Burst. Today I'll be showing you four ways to upgrade your LEGO ATTE. Just to start off, this ATTE by itself is already a very good set. I will just be showing you four more ways to make it even better. So let's get started. Way number one is just upgrading your troopers. So this is extremely similar to my five ways to upgrade your clone army, which I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But other than that, I will just show you um, what I did to them to make them better. So with your troopers, you're just going to want to take some of these candlestick pieces and just stick it on the front of their blasters just to give it a more realistic um, just like view thing of how, because that's basically what Lego's just doing now. I'm just adding it on all the troopers, unlike they did. You can also do this for your droid army too, even though it might not look as good because unless you get the metallic kind, because yeah, it's just like that. But it still could look cool. Or you could just switch those metallic guns out for black guns and make it nice and spiffy. All right, so that's way number one. Let's move on to way number two. Way number two is now on the actual ATTE itself and is concerning the legs and the joints that it has connecting them. Now, these legs are pretty good by themselves, but there is room for improvement. Like, that's just weird there. You, you know, got to put some tile stuff there and the legs are just kind of open in there. So I'll be showing you how to make it look like it's a lot more armor. So let's get started. So what you, I'm just going to show you how to modify the smaller leg first. So this is for every single smaller leg that is on there. The design does not vary. So to quickly pop off the top shield thing so you have a good way to get to there. First, you take this joint and just pop it off. Take, let me find a drop right in. Here we go. One of these two by two round tiles and just stick it on like that so it looks like it's more fuller joint and it's all like the same size. Like that, you can just pop it back on and it already looks better. But now, we gotta go down to the legs. So you can pop that off again if you really want. I just find it makes it easier. You can also take this off, doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer. And on here, you're going to need two, two half Technic pins. You're going to stick them in the empty holes on each of the empty holes that are there. So it's like that. And then you're going to have to lift up the leg and just pop off the top so it is like that. Take a one by one snot brick and put it in the middle so it is three studs long for that. Then you're just going to take one of these um, slopes, one by two slopes, stick it on the bottom two of the studs, and then take a cheese slope attached to a one by one square stud thingy and stick it on the remaining stud. That just gives it a more armored appearance. Now I will put back everything, put everything back on just to show you what it will look like with everything back on. So that is how it looks with everything on it. I feel like it just gives it a more heavily armored and just more muscular leg tone. So you do that for every single um, smaller leg. So I'm gonna go do that right now and then we can head on to the larger leg. I have now finished all of my legs on my smaller legs, putting them so now they all have the same look. And now we're going to start the bigger leg on how to make that one better. So this one has a bit more, like a lot of different pieces on it. Hold on, let me just set my camera back up. It's falling. There we go. Um, so this has a bit more pieces that aren't as common or they might be common for you and not common for somebody else or you might have 50-50 of them. But, ah, I always forget what drawers I put my stuff in. You're going to need eight of these curved pieces. Um, yeah, I don't really know what they're called. Um, two of these four by four round plates and eight of these um, also curved pieces. I don't know the technical name for. And what you're really just gonna do with this one, just pop off the large joint thingy. Just pop the entire top off as well as the piecing there, so it is just looking like this. You're gonna need to take off this 
one by three um, tile and its stud and just set it off to the side because I'll need that later. You can just toss the other pieces you don't need into wherever you really want to put it. And then you have your empty thing like this. Just take your four by four round plate, stick it on right where the um, dark bluish gray one was. Take um, four of these and just place them around the edges to give it more like a curved, um, like curve, like curve and upwards sort of like look. You got that. Then you're gonna take um, four of these curved pieces and just put them around the outsides of the, like the inside, but the outside of the square thing, not square, circle. So it's like that. Then you're just going to want to take your one by three plate with a stud and just stick it on the middle like that. So it should be looking like this. And then just stick it back in its original place. And I feel like that joint just makes it look more jointy than the other ones. The other one just looked really blocky. This one didn't doesn't look as blocky, but that's really my opinion. It's uh, really up to you whether you think it's more blocky or not. But then you also have this giant gap down there. And I was showing you how to fix that. Here we go. So, yes. Aha. You're going to need four... Uh, well, just, just for one leg, you're going to need two one by 2 snot bricks and two um, one by 2 slopes. And you are just going to take your snot brick and just put it on like that for all of them. And then you just do it except the opposite way for the one on the bottom. Then you're going to have to pop out some stuff. Pop out that. Take off this piece here. You can do, I'm just gonna pull that out so you can get a better view of it. Then you take um, your one that's slanting downwards when it's like this and just put it right on the top like that. And put your one that's facing like downwards there or there. Okay, never mind. You put it, you're the one facing down, you put that on the bottom, and you put this one on the top, because, like, with um, one stud in between, because if you do not have that stud in between, this piece will not fit on properly. So then, you just put your stuff back in place, and that is your modified leg. And I just feel like it gives it a lot more, like, armored tone to it. It's just, like, a lot sturdy. You can hold a lot more weight. So I'm going to go do the other leg um, off the camera, and then we will head on to way three. Way number three is with the sides on here. So these are still pretty good sides. Got nice detail on the paneling with the stickers. But there could be more room for improvement because this is just really steady. And, I mean, you can leave it that way. It still looks pretty good like that. But I'm just going to tile it all off to make it look a lot more, like, heavily armored. So I'm going to go put that in a time lapse and you can see me build it. So yeah, that is what I did with them. Sorry you couldn't see the first three very well. I did not know that it was not in the camera view because the camera's off the side and I can't really see the screen. I should probably look at it a lot more often. But other than that, um, so I just tiled off the entire thing. I took out the Republic emblems on them um, just to give it a more armored feel thing because it just... Whenever I built it with, when I built it with the uh, emblem on it, it just didn't look as armored. Um, at least that's to me. You can add the emblem on if you want. But then with these, you just stick them back on the holes from whence they came. That is your heavily armored ATT. You've got the sturdier legs, modified joints, and then the heavily armored stuff. So let's go on to way four. 
So Wave 4 is a bit of a different one. It really depends on what clones you have and if you just want to do this to personalize it to your favorite Legion or just the Legion you have the most of. And for me, I have a ton of 501st compared to my five 212th troopers, four 212th troopers. So I took all these red pieces out and replaced them with blue. And you can also do that with really any color you have. So I have replacements for this in light bluish gray and blue. I didn't have enough to do um, a yellow for the 212, but yeah. So I'll just be showing you how to do that, even though it is pretty easy to do it. You just gotta replace all the red pieces with blue. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so what you wanna do first is just pop out the cockpit piece and just take off the front grill and clips that hold it in. And I'm just gonna put them together so they just stay together. It's easy to put them back on when I'm done. And then you're just gonna wanna pop off this light bluish gray um, corner pieces and tiles so you can get to the red. And then you're just gonna wanna pop off this entire red piece here. I prefer to keep it all in one piece just so it is super easy when I do want to transform it back into my red color. I can do it super easily. So then you're going to take your blue one built out of that. To get the pieces, you just got to pop this off of your ATTE and just look at all the pieces and just find them in the color that you please. You got to take off the one by threes in light bluish gray from the red one and just pop it on to whatever color you're building with. And then I also gotta take this tile out from like right under where the pilot sits and also replace that with blue. And then you do wanna put the windshield piece back in because I found it's easier to put um, the blue pieces in if the windshield is already there and I just broke it. Okay, after that slight little mishap, I do have it onto my cockpit. And then you're just gonna wanna take those tiles and light bluish gray corner pieces and just put them back on the front like they were with the red. And so it should be looking just like the red one except with blue instead of red. And you can just slide it back into place um, we'll just go on to the cannon part then next. So on here, you just got to pop off the red piece very easily and replace it with whatever, like blue or black, since I do not have any blue of those. I just replaced it with a black piece and I think it j it looks fine on there because it's a black cannon. Yeah. And then something that I have found out after I was going through all this stuff is you have to pop off this entire top cannon part because there is red right there that you will see um, through all of that. So you just gotta pop that red piece out. Um, nope. Gotta pop that out, replace it with a blue or whatever color you are building with, and then just put everything back as it was. It doesn't matter about the red one inside there because nobody will be seeing it unless they are taking apart your top cannon of your HT. And just pop the cannon back in place like that. Oh, you got to put the grill back on the front too. <laughs> Forgot about that. So now it's looking just like the one with red except with blue. And then also you got to take care of these red pieces there. So just pop the top off and replace all of the red bricks, tiles, not tiles, plates with blue ones in the same shape. Just put these pieces, I don't know what they're called, back on and just stick it back in the exact same place because you wouldn't put it anywhere else. And then you also gotta get these tiles up on the front. So just pop the sides out like that. Just pop the red tiles off and put in the blue. Pop back in and go to the other side. And 
and that is it for placing all the red pieces. And so that is it for this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button and turn on notifications so you get notifications whenever I post a new video. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for videos, well, suggestion I do the same thing, but whatever, for videos that I should make in the future or anytime really, um, uh, feel free to tell me down in the comments and I will see you next video.